Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Todd. This is Stories and Solutions, and I have Andrew Racho here, voiceover artist, producer, writer, director, everything guy. Check it out. You know, if if people don't have that, and like you said, like if they're divas because they're used to people giving it to them, when those people walk away, they really don't know how to turn door doorknobs. <laughs> you know, it's like, what's this thing? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> you know? and you know, I will say there's a lot of like when you get to a certain point, there are people who enable it. You know, who who protect and shield and enable. And I will know that, like, I I will say this, like, you know, it's not malicious in any way. Um, it's just, you know, I, I'll, I'll give an example right now. That's a fun thing. So I was in a, a session, a voiceover session, uh, and I'm sure I'm fine to share this story. Uh, Eric Andre was in there and he was doing Eric Andre stuff. Hilarious, really sweet guy. Uh, he, at one point he knocks over a coffee and I'm, uh, on the outside, um, of the, of the session. And I was like, all right, well, I, these guys just need to keep working. I'm going to go clean this up, let them take a, you know, uh, a break and then they can get to it and i start you know cleaning up he's like dude you don't have to do that just g give me the i'll start cleaning and and all that oh, because cool. and what that moment was was it, it was a confluence of good things it was me in, in some ways enabling you know by saying like nope i'm gonna be the one to do this thing for you you're at a status and position where you don't have to do it and him being a talent who's you know he's done stand-up for years he was grinding. He the way he got his show was making it on his own. He knows what it's like to be from you know uh, to work uh, in, in a position where nobody's seeing you, and you, you gotta hustle. You gotta do the hard work and still be good to people, and still will never let that go. And in a way, if you know if you skip some of those some of that form, formative spot, or you don't have people around you um who will remind you to stay humble if you get used to like people like me coming in there cleaning up the messes and then there are times there nobody nobody's there it, it you get stuck and you get lost and then that's where the frustrations can get can come out true you know? that's a good analogy yeah yeah right. uh, he that shows a humble the humbleness in him yeah Absolutely. Um, and I, I, I noticed that from a lot of, you know, I've directed a lot of celebrities and, and stuff like that. And for the most part, celebrities are fine. The people who are at the top are generally pretty decent people because they act, the actors know what it's like to be in the top, what it's like to be in the bottom, how to be loved one week and adored to everybody in America's attention and then be forgotten the next you know, they know what that roller coaster is, and they're just glad when they get, you know, their moments to do their thing. <laughs> We're <not> on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're right. just glad that they get to be there and they appreciate it. And, you know, I think there's also security in having some success, too, that you could be like, well, at least I had this and that was good. You know, there's also the insecurity of like, I need that again. I was talking yeah, with one yeah, actor recently. Um, we he did very well on like um, on the, the social media uh past few weeks we, we were talking he's just like yeah i just want more of this and i'm like the entertainment industry is like oh here's this great thing and then you do it and you're like wow i feel purpose i feel you know like i got to use all these talents for good and now i get to actually make an influence in a positive way i get to fulfill myself creatively and do all these things i want to do more and the industry is like no mm -hmm. and then you have to be like oh okay <laughs> it's, well, it's, what do i do now and it's not a cruelty uh, uh, on part of it. it. It's like, you know, it's like imagine you work at a like Starbucks for like a, a, a year and then you're like, oh, I'm going to go, you know, take a couple months off and you come back and Starbucks is like, eh, sorry, we, we filled the we spot. We can't hire you back. That's true. Like you can't be like, how dare you? It's yeah, just there's, because of who I am. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just that's the, the nature of things. Spots get filled. There's a lot of people to fill them it's one day it's going to be you one day it's not and that's sort of the random lottery like not every day can be your wedding day and True. the the thing to notice about the job is that it, it very much is the wedding day and if you're lucky you get a lot of them but yeah. if you only get a handful you got a wedding day you just have to remember that <laughs> i got you yeah